It should go without saying that correct and accurate or mindful practicing produces correct and accurate performances. Mindless practicing eventually will lead you to that proverbial brick wall. It is with this goal of performing at the highest possible level that we understand the need to develop what I call critical practicing. I define critical practicing as being self-directed, self-disciplined, self-monitored, and self-corrective in one's attempts towards seeking out solutions or strategies which advance one's performance to the highest possible level. Here are some guidelines that I've developed for critical practicing. All practicing should be based on assumptions. While you are exploring the historical context of a work, consider how this information is shaping your point of view, what you believe to be true about the work you are studying. To develop your point of view of a work, use analysis, listening, attending concerts, this background work is needed if one is to start the learning process with a full intellectual and oral understanding. All practicing should lead somewhere and have implications and consequences. Goal setting is the necessary tool in creating efficient and effective practicing. One should understand that improperly guided practicing will lead to performances that reflect those decisions. All practicing should have a purpose, so one should take the time to understand and clearly state why you are practicing a specific area. Like this, you could, for example, check every three days, for example, to be sure that you are still on the target you have articulated. All practicing should be based on facts. One way of obtaining these facts would be to record the passages you're working on. This will allow you to develop solutions based on the information, facts, which are gathered from your listening to what you have recorded. All practicing should be an attempt to solve some problem. Because of this, we need to discover all the issues involved in the problem passage so that we might arrive at solutions that are as clear and precise as possible. Understanding that all problems have solutions. All practicing should be expressed through and shaped by concepts and ideas. You see, Knowing practice strategies is only half the solution, as their appropriate use will determine the outcome of the performance. Practicing is a journey whose success depends on your creative solutions to the problems at hand.